some of the guys have been uh, talking about just how uh, accurate or not these guns are and whether or not they need to uh, be putting on peep sights and tang sights and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know about everybody else, but uh, I'm pretty used to a buckhorn sight and uh, the first kind of sights I ever used and I don't have a whole lot of issue using them now. So uh, I don't know uh, what it's all about with the buckhorn not being... Uh, satisfactory but here's the jug as you can see it's full of water there's no holes in it so what I'm hoping is you'll be able to see if uh, I'm hitting the juggernaut when I'm shooting at it. Uh, hopefully you'll see if I'm hitting the juggernaut or if I'm missing or what's going on. But like I said, we're back 50 yards and uh, we'll set up with the gun and we'll see what happens. Um, and again, I'm just going to be shooting freehand. I don't, I'm not going to be screwing around. Come on. Huh? Come on. You shot it. See? You shot it, Daddy. I did shoot it, Everett. Let's show the people the holes. <coughs> One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What about this hole? So I got a spinner target this time. There's the jug. That's at 50 yards. So we'll just give it a little bit further.
All right, I still got a camera. So that's a, uh, that's being shot at with a 22. So uh, let's see what happens there. Why don't we try it with the 270? Wisdom and a 130 grain TSX and see what happens to this spinner target. As you can see, I got a hole in it from a 7 mil odd 8 140 grain TSX. Um, geez, it was a while ago now, but anyways, I think it was about 200 yards. So, this will be fun. The uh, 100 yard, I mean, it's about 105 yards to the truck, so it's about, I don't know, 102, 103 yards where I'm standing. See if I can hit it pretty close to the hole that's already in it. So I'm gonna aim for the hole that's in it, and I'm gonna do it uh, offhand and see how it all turns out. So here we are at the spinner target. And the camera blew over when the bullet went by, so that was pretty uh, pretty cool. As you can see, there's the fresh hole. 
on the left. And there's the old one from the 7 mil out 8. So there you got it. Uh, this is what we do in Grand Prairie for fun on the weekend. Hey, Everett. Right. Right. So, uh, yeah. I mean, here's it. Like, I mean, I love this little thing. Like, I find it awesome. Just throw it in, you know, you just throw it in your backpack. And, uh, you know, you're good to go. And you see a grouse or a couple of rabbits or whatever. You're out big game hunting. You want to go get some lunch or something. I mean, it's fun to carry a rifle too, but I mean... This this is fun. I mean, I got you know. It's nice to have a full size twenty two and stuff. But I mean, this is this that's kick ass. It's just so depending on what you're into is definitely going to make the difference on whether or not one of these little uh, mares like twenty twos is going to be something that you want to use or you're even accurate with or even enjoy and have fun with. I love having this thing here, man. Just pull it out, pop a grouse, pop a rabbit.